Real Estate Investing Success St. Louis Season 2 is proudly sponsored by the industry certified construction experts at ARS Construction. Let's face it, your property is ugly as f. ARS Construction does it right, from roofing to exterior to all your interior needs. For a free roofing estimate, call now at 844 445 Roof. That's 844 445 7663. Or visit Advanced Roof sys.com that's advanced roof sys.com ars construction roofing and construction done right Good day, investors. I'm Antonio Holman, founder of United States Real Estate Investor at UnitedStatesRealEstateInvestor.com, and welcome to Real Estate Investing Success St. Louis Season 2, where I chat with successful real estate investors about the ins and outs and the ups and downs of the real estate investing industry right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Let's get into today's conversation. From a paycheck to paycheck family man, to suffering from analysis paralysis, to now a confident problem solver with rentals, rehabs, and assignments, Rich Groves is a real estate investing success. All right, Rich, are you ready to talk real estate investing with me today? Always, man, always. All right, perfect perfect thing to say right now. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. So, Rich, uh, aside from your real estate investing life, what is it like being rich in your personal life? Yeah. So um, some people may know this. Some people may not. I still actually do have a full time W-2 job. So I'm not a full time real estate investor, you know, air quotes, meaning that's not all I do. Right. Um, I you know put in the full time hours for sure. But <laughs> but I don't I have my W-2 job. So during the day. Uh, Rich Groves is a trainer at a law firm here in the St. Louis area. So I've been a trainer of some type uh, in that industry for the past 22 years. And so I, you know, I basically love, love helping people meet their full potential, if, if you will, whether that's learning a different skill or different skills, whether it's soft skills, you know, interpersonal skills or computer skills or whatever. I train all types of things. So uh, that is Rich Groves during the day. I do have a family. I'm married to my wife uh, for uh, 20. It'll be 23 years in September. So just past 22 years. And we have two children. I've got a 26 year old and an 18 year old. The 18 year old's getting ready to go off to college next year. So we're excited about that and seeing what he's going to, you know, what, what lays out ahead of him. So we, um, are heading into that empty nest syndrome, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> so interesting to see how that goes. Right, right. Okay, give me just a second to adjust this table here. All right. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Okay, so with one word or phrase, what is the reason you got into real estate investing and why? I'm going to give a little bit of an antidote. I know it'd be a nice, easy, just one, one word or phrase, but uh, you know, the can answer, everybody says, a lot of people say freedom, you know, right. Freedom, 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 Uh, which it is, it is, but that wasn't, that wasn't the reason, right? I mean, it was, you know, got into it money. I mean, honestly, it was like, oh man, I can make a lot of money. Right. Um, And then as you learn more about it and you get into it, yeah. Then the reason is, okay, that, that money, can lead to freedom or if you're successful can lead to freedom. But uh, yeah, I mean, originally it was money like thinking, man, you can make a lot of money out there doing real estate investing. Um, but yeah, it is, it, it's eventually going to be a, a, a vehicle for freedom, right? More, you know, just complete freedom, not necessarily just financial freedom, but every any kind of freedom. Right. But um, yeah. So I don't know if that answered your question very well at oh, all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it did. It did. So What's your favorite aspect of real estate investing? I mean, my bread and butter is still assignments. Um, I do have rental properties. I have done flick, uh, you know, rehabs and flips uh, as well. But uh, my bread and butter is assignments. Um, I love, I mean, I just love helping people find solutions for their problems. I really do. And their issues, situations. And I love you know, I love it when part of, I mean, I don't know if I, yeah. So assignments, 
helping people find solutions. Um, I cherry pick some of those, keep them as rentals, you know, but, um, and I love, love helping newbie investors work through things too. You know, um, I don't necessarily have like at this time, I don't necessarily have any type of mentorship program or anything like that. But when newbies reach out to me, you know, I, I have a, I, you know, I have a situation where I'm like, look, I'll, I'll JV with you and we'll, we'll work through a few deals together. And when you're ready to fly out of the nest on your own, go for it. Otherwise we'll work together. But I love that part too. That's part of that, that trainer part of me too, where it's like, I want to guide somebody along as well. So, and I'm just, completely i don't know if i'm directly answering your questions or not. yeah yeah you you are you are um that's funny that you said that because that's basically the reason why i started this organization because there's so much information out there but a lot of people don't know where to get it a lot of people have the information they really don't know who to give the information to outside of their immediate family Okay. And the thing is, the more information we know about things like this that cause that cause financial freedom, right. the better off the whole country is. And you can help other people. You can help other people financially and just by helping them with homes and knowledge. I love it all. So, yeah, you said exactly what it is. That's that's the way I feel about it. So that's perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Great to hear. <laughs> so. Now we know nothing's ever beautiful. No, no, you don't get just deal after deal after after deal that just flows. Okay. <laughs> we know it's a train wreck out there. So what is that time in your life when you felt just absolutely the most unsuccessful you've ever felt? Ooh, man, it's actually been pretty recent. I mean, it it, it uh you know, there was a time within within the last two years, I was actually focusing on my rentals. I was building a little, a small rental portfolio, not a huge rental portfolio, but I was I was still I was being successful, but there was one in particular that was just a pain in my backside. And I was actually doing a lot of it myself. It was part of uh, you know, trading that time for education, learning how to do things so I could figure out, you know, when I work with contractors, are they ripping me off? Are they saying, oh, I need to do this and this? It's like, no, no, I've done that before. It doesn't need all of that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it was taking me forever. It was taking me so much longer. And it was taking away from my wholesaling side of things. It was taking away from my ability to market, my ability to follow up on calls, my ability to do all these things, because all of my time was invested into this one specific rental property that I was just taking forever painstakingly to get ready and you know it came down to i was just so beaten i know i knew i was i, I knew i was doing things right as far as i was running my rentals right i was you know I, the assignments i was going through were fine but it was my volume was had dropped severely so i was like man i mean this just gets you down you know um so that you know that part of it was probably the worst i'd felt since i started when I first started, it took me nine months to get my first deal. When we actually like launched our business, it took us nine, no, eight months, sorry, eight months to actually get it done because over analysis paralysis, you know, oh, oh just one more, one more video. Oh, if I, if I read one more article, if I do, even though yeah. you know the formula, you know everything and it works, you see it working for other people, you see everything and you know it, it's just that self doubt, you know, uh, gives you ex reasons to justify why, oh, it's just one more vi video. But anyway, since then, you know, yeah, just recently, like the la within the last two years, um, but, but this past year was really good and it built up my confidence again, just because I had finally had that time again to devote to uh, just all systems normal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's funny. You touched on that. Uh, imposter syndrome is what they call it. And it kicks in whenever you're trying to do big things. It kicks in pretty, pretty hardcore. Yeah. I mean, I, I experience it probably at least once a week. So, mm. I yeah. mean, that's normal. <laughs> Good. At least somebody else has had that. Oh, totally, man. <laughs> so currently, what's your, uh, your main goal in your REI business? Yeah. You know, I want to... Um, main goal would uh, again this year I, I, i'm probably going to try to double my uh, my goal is to double my rental portfolio but do it the right way where i'm not you know putting working in it i'm not working in the business i'm working on the business um and uh just you know increase my increase my uh, assignments you know and and continue to do assignments i'm gonna do a couple rehabs as well this year but uh yeah it's i mean again I can't stretch myself too thin because like a lot of people out there, I you know have my family. I do have my full-time job. So you got to balance. You got to find that balance. So I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to flip 
I'm going to, I'm going to rehab 10 properties and I'm going to do one a month or, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to sign 50 houses this year, 400 houses. You know, I'm still, you know, even though I know, I know what I'm doing, I know how to do it. I can share it with everybody volume wise. You know, I've, I, I don't have 24 hours a day to work on it. I, you know, take at least eight of it out and I've got that much time to work on it. But, um, but yeah, I just want to scale and bring on, uh, bring on some people that can help me scale and take some of that off my plate so we could still scale up and and be successful. I know. So, we, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, okay. I was just going to keep rambling. That's what I do. I mean, when you said, hey, you ready to talk real estate? I'm like, let's do this 24 hours. <laughs> That's all right, man. That's okay. So now throughout uh, you doing your real estate uh, investing, what's your favorite? Well, like like your main technology that you love to use while doing this? Yeah, so my, I use, <clears throat> I mean, I, I do have a few different ones, but my main go-to, I know there are others out there, but the tried and true RealFlow is what I use. Um, I don't know if, if you've heard of that one. Um, mm -hmm. RealFlow is my is my go-to. I absolutely love it. And um, actually, uh, you know, I've got a, even even as a as an old, old hat, if you will, you know, I've been doing this over eight years now. I know there's people out there that have been doing it 30 and all that, but, you know, even doing it for over eight years, it's okay to get out there and have a mentor. So actually through RealFlow this year, I've been in a, in a mentorship, uh, you know, like a weekly video call where I've got a mentor and, and even experts have mentors. Every successful person has mentors in different facets of their life. Right. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, if you think of like even professional ball players have coaches, right. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. And, and, and so um Wow. Uh, yeah. So real flow and it's, it's just awesome. It, I really do love it. And uh, this year, especially taking advantage of their mentorship program has been really helpful uh, to get me back on track, focused on the things I need to focus on. Mm -hmm. Got got to get a coach. I yep. still need to get a coach myself. Uh, yep. I'm about two steps away. <laughs> okay. Okay. My goodness. Yeah. So uh, right now, uh, what's your portfolio looking like these days? I've got, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, I've got eight rentals. Um, so we got eight rental portfolios. All, all our eight rental properties, all single family uh, homes in the Metro St. Louis area on the Illinois side, actually. Uh, all of them in the Illinois side. And, uh, you know, I don't have, it's not like that's only where I want to buy my rentals or anything like that. It's just, that's just how it's, that's how the coin landed when we flipped it, and, and, you know, each time. But, um, yeah, so I've got eight rental properties, and uh, yeah, we're we're looking to hopefully get uh, turn that into at least fifteen this year. Rich, if people want to learn more about you, how do they get in touch with you? Oh, they can get a hold of me uh, through Facebook. You know, everybody's on Facebook, right? No, you can get a hold of me at Facebook. Either look me up, Rich Groves, or you can go to my website, Metro ST, and I'm not website, my Facebook. Uh, uh, business page, Metro STL Homes. I actually have a real estate, can I mention it? My real estate investment uh, club or group, if you will, a Hootie's House Buyers Club. You can find me on Facebook on there as well. But you can also find me on, you know, on Twitter, Metro STL Homes LLC. Um, I'm on YouTube. Very, you know, I'm building that up. I'm going to be doing that this year a little more. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Metro STL Homes. You can find me on TikTok, Metro STL Homes. Oh, yeah. Homes. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's what I'm trying to build that up a little bit. Just, you know, my silly nature, it almost seems hand and it fits hand in hand. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm on, on the social medias and um, otherwise they can they can go to my website, metrostlhomes.com um, and, uh, you know, get a hold of me that way. So since entering into the real estate investing world, uh, what are you most grateful for? Wow. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm most grateful, honestly, for having an understanding family that at times when there has been a trade off of extra time paid attention to real estate, uh, they've understood. And um, it's not like I'm neglecting my family, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, if you have a you know a couple extra hours here or there, it's like, wait, dad usually is home for dinner tonight. Well, he's at a meeting or, or it's things like that. So, I mean, having an understanding family um, and realizing I'm trying to to build something pretty, pretty cool here has been probably the thing I'm most grateful for. Probably a close second would be uh, networking with people. Just so many opportunities to network with people. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, before I hit you with the last question, just want to tell you, thanks for being here today and want to want to wish you more 
success after mm-hmm. these days. So I appreciate continued that. success. Thank you so much. Appreciate All right. It. So finally, Rich, what's your definition of real estate investing success? I, I, I think it's different for everybody, you know, uh, obviously, because you're asking me what's my definition, right? So um, I think my definition of real estate success would be when somebody reaches the level they're happy with uh, in success, whether that means that personally they, they only want to get into real estate investing to bring in an extra $500 a month cash flow. So they go out and buy two rental properties that net five hundred dollars a month, or, or three properties, or what you know, whatever their math is. You know, somebody that says, you know what, I just want to get in to learn how to flip a house. I want to flip one house, and I'm happy. I'm done. That's success. Um, for me, success, ultimate success, would be to be able to replace my W two completely and be all in on real estate investing and not have to go back. And it's not. I I, I want to be clear. I absolutely love what I do. I love my W-2. I love the the company I work for, the the firm I, I work for now. Absolutely love it. Um, so it's kind of scary. You know, I'm not just the scary of, um, oh my gosh, I may have, I may leave my job. Um, who knows? I mean, I could get a call tomorrow, not to jinx myself, but I can get a call tomorrow that says, hey, we're downsizing and your job's been eliminated, right? So, um, but it's scary to think that I could, I could be so successful that I wouldn't need a job anymore. To me, that that is scary, but I'm like, that just pumps adrenaline through my veins and it makes me so excited to make that happen. Investors, I hope you've enjoyed my quick conversation today. Check out more great content like this at United States Real Estate Investor.com. Also, do not forget to rate, review, and subscribe wherever you find podcasts. Please do us a huge favor and visit our sponsor, ARS Construction, at advancedroofsys.com. Thanks for listening, and as always, stay grateful, stay successful, and be free. If you'd like to be a guest or a host in your city, please contact us at unitedstatesrealestateinvestor.com. Music by Harris Heller. Is your rental business not running quite the way you hoped? Are tenant problems becoming, well, your problem? Are you skeptical about turning over your rental portfolio to a property manager? Meet Mark Dolfini, landlord coach, full-time real estate investor, and best-selling author of the book, The Time Wealthy Investor 2.0. Mark once thought that real estate investing was the best way to quit his job and become his own boss. The trouble was he ended up working more hours than ever and ended up working for the worst boss in the world, himself. With lots of help, learning, and trial and error, Mark has turned his once 20-hour-per-day real estate job into a two-hour-per-week real estate business. And he'd like to share his secrets with you so you can do the same. Head on over to LandlordCoach.com forward slash STL for Mark's free quick start kit. Look, money's important, no doubt, but time is the holy grail. If you're ready to have the passive income real estate business you've always dreamed of, if you want more money and time in your life, if you want actual freedom on your calendar, if you want time wealth, head on over to LandlordCoach.com forward slash STL for your free quick start kit. That's LandlordCoach.com forward slash STL. Remember, if you don't place a value on your time, someone else will.